Welcome to day six of the 28 day photo challenge. Today we're looking at low angle photography. So just like yesterday's challenge, today we're doing the exact same thing, but reverse. So we're gonna be getting low angles to try and show how large something is, or by getting the entire subject in frame, depending on what it is. We can also do this to get a different perspective of something that we wouldn't normally see at our natural height. So just like yesterday, you know what we're gonna do? Let's just dive right into it. So I'm out here right now at the property. If you follow along with my car channel, then you'll know that this is my financial mistake. Now it's a pretty big truck, I guess, you know, the back's full of snow, so it's like sagging or whatever. What we're gonna be doing right now is using low angle and at least emphasize on how big things are. So I figured the truck is a pretty good candidate for this and I'm gonna be shooting an aperture priority so that way I can take the aperture down to f2.8, which will give a good shallow depth of field, but that's gonna automatically adjust the shutter speed. So right now, if we look at the truck, the shutter speed is 320th of a second. We're shooting at ISO 100. So now if I just take a picture of the truck, it's just, you know, it's, it's a picture. You can't really see the height with it. And I'm shooting at 12 millimeter, and this is a micro four thirds camera. So this is a two times crop. So this is equivalent to a 24 millimeter on a full frame. And now if I come down to a really low angle, the truck looks absolutely giant. Now we can do this with many different things. So we're gonna try and get the back of the truck in there with some of the wheel covered, and then only seeing the front of the truck. And come down here, now we have all of this pile, and because I'm shooting at f2.8, there's gonna be a lot of bokeh. I'm gonna come in right about here, and in the previous videos, rule of thirds, we can get right in here, just have a little bit of that back wheel showing. We're still shooting at 24, there we go. Now if we wanted to zoom all the way to 35, which is 70, then we can take a similar shot, but all the way from down here, which will give significantly more bokeh on the snow. So that one there is a pretty quick video. It's literally just in the name, low angle. You just get low angles of whatever you're trying to take a picture of and you can emphasize the height or get some pretty interesting shots with bokeh of things that you normally wouldn't have because the truck is higher than the snow. So by getting a low angle, we've introduced character into the picture. So hopefully you got something out of this. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already, that's cool. Or don't do any of it. I'm not telling you what to do.